Hello, my name is Anthony Bulo. I'm a Geomatics Consultant at GeoPlus, and today I will show you how to navigate within a Vision LiDAR point cloud project. To navigate adequately in Vision LiDAR, a mouse with three buttons is preferable. Left and right mouse click buttons, and a mouse wheel. Now to begin, open a valid Vision LiDAR project. The point cloud should be visible in the main window. So to begin navigation, first of all you may rotate by doing a left click and dragging the mouse. Left click and drag. To zoom, you may use the mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out. Or you may use the right click and drag. So up and down to zoom in and zoom out. Now to pan or to move the point cloud, you may click on the mouse wheel button and drag like so, or do a left and right click at the same time and drag. So left and right click of the mouse. Now another important step is to recenter or to set the rotation axis. So by doing a double click of either the left or the right mouse button click, you will see here the the view has recentered and the axis of rotation is on this point so if I double click here let's say it's the view is recentered and the axis of rotation is set to this point uh, recentering can also be useful on long projects when you find that panning or zooming has become slow if you do a recenter so a double click oftentimes this will resolve the problem now all these operations I've shown are possible with a, a simply a mouse. However, there are specialized icons here to use if you wish to navigate differently. So there's a rotation icon. So this, as we see, the mouse icon has changed. So with any button, we can rotate the, the view. Here is the pan button. So we can, with any mouse button, simply pan the view set the zoom window so by dragging by clicking and dragging will be with any mouse button will be zooming in there's a zoom window so it's going to create a rectangular zoom window and zoom extents which by clicking here will zoom out to show every single point in the project We also have a magnifier tool which will create a small window and will zoom in to certain points. We have an edge locator tool which will detect differences in planes and will highlight uh, intersections between different planes on screen. We also have a few icons to set the view so if I click on top view here you can see the button is still pressed. This means that I am locked in top view mode. So I can rotate, I can turn around, but I can't get out of top view mode. So to return to free um, rotation, I must click on top view again and I can once again rotate freely. There's left view. So this will show the left view and front view also. So it all depends on how the project was imported. There are also a few settings options here in settings and edit settings. So for instance point size we may modify the point size on screen so this is dynamic. Uh, LOD factor, level of detail factor this will determine the number of points that will be loaded on screen. The maximum LOD factor is 50 this will require a lot of computing power, however. So if your computer is a bit slow, I recommend leaving it at a lower LOD factor. Now field of view will change the angle of viewing. So as we can see here, there's a high angle. And if we bring this back, we'll be looking at a more orthogonal type view. So you can play with the field of view to change the perception of your point cloud. 
30 degrees is the default value. So that's it for navigating in the point cloud with Vision LiDAR. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and stay posted for more Vision LiDAR tutorials. Thank you very much.